I am disappointed, but not surprised. Before I get into this, I mean, I've said it enough, right? I hate going into politics, but um, I wouldn't do this if I couldn't tie it into my focus with the channel, uh, which is, uh, it's going to be kind of an interesting one because I'm going to suggest some websites. And no, it's not. Uh, I'm not going to be suggesting websites because you could call me a Nazi or something. No, it has nothing to do with that. It has everything to do with the crumbling trust we can have with Twitter and Facebook, Google, all that. Um, you know, I'm slowly realizing a dream as we, you know, fly along this hellscape of ours here. Beautiful hellscape. This, um, this is, uh, actually, uh, fucking appalling what happened here. I've never seen something so important, so important, something so major happen over arguing a technicality loosely, if you want to say technicality, arguing loosely what people are meaning by their words and choosing for those people what their words mean and uh that has happened with this this is a uh quite historic event in terms of the digital space because this involves uh the removal of uh, a world leader from communicating with the world like, really, let that sink in. A world leader has had uh, at least a portion of their communications with the world disabled. Wait till you see this shit. Now, you probably saw something about the president uh, inciting uh, violence. Uh, you know... <laughs> you know, telling his followers uh, to do things. Meanwhile, Maxine Waters is over here saying that we should harass political opponents and make sure that they know that they're not welcome here. What a contrast. So, I, uh, I got curious. I got curious. Because I am of the persuasion that Silicon Valley doesn't care about honesty and they don't care about um, what results of their decisions uh, to give kind of an example uh, Facebook at one point in their rules terms sir I don't know they had a special section cut out maybe you remember this maybe you don't maybe you don't even know about this they had a special section uh, in their like rules uh, community guidelines shit cut out special that makes it so you can send death threats to people that are considered dangerous and you can you can make threats on a person's life if they're dangerous considered dangerous and by the way the list of people that would be on the list uh of people that you could do this to are it's also determined by the media and I believe also groups like the Southern Poverty Law Center, groups like that. So, and I could <laughs> the uh, I think it's the Anti Defamation League. Oh, one that the the one group that is like uh they they have the, like a Jewish identity. I don't know where they said uh that. Uh, regardless of the reason, we can just call you uh, a Nazi and have you branded as one. And we can have no reason, any reason, if we decide. And they, they wrote this on their website, because they're confident and stupid. Um, they wrote this on their website, along with, uh, you know, mentioning even if there's something to do with money, I think, if I remember correctly. Anyway, on topic here. 
Um, so, you know, this, this is going to involve politics. It's a, we're already beyond that point. Obviously, it's going to involve politics, but this has to do with, you know, your communication channels, you know, uh, social media. There's a lot of money to go into this. There's stocks, there's products and other things, business ventures, uh, art trade, if they were, uh, if they're not doing that or whatever, I don't know. Basically, so this is, this is like a part of life. This is like a big part of life right here. Uh, for the modern world, the modern world, future world too, of course. So this goes over the permanent suspension. So mind you, this is, is this word is, I think the, the worst one of the bunch permanent, because this doesn't make sense and this shouldn't stand. I'll explain obviously but at the same time, you can kind of see for yourself here after a little while. So it says, after close review of recent tweets from the at real Donald Trump account and the context around those tweets, specifically how they are being received and interpreted on and off Twitter. Yeah, no, I don't know if you know that, but um, uh, these payment processing sites, uh, like uh, like some of the crowdfunding stuff and uh, some of the um, some of the stuff that creators will go to if they can't get monetized by YouTube. Uh, some of these sites, they take into consideration what you do off the website. So that's, that's fun. This is kind of an older thing, to be honest. So yeah, I know the nightmare has, has been in effect for longer than you understand. I get that. I know it's scary. Permanently suspended the account due to the risk of further incitement of violence. So this is uh foreshadowing right here, obviously, duh. Um, the risk of further incitement of violence. So they're telling you that, um, well, Trump incited uh, in violence. Okay, so this is this is like the preface, right? Jumps down. So next paragraph in the context of horrific events this week, which they're they're blowing this out of fucking proportion and they're doing it on purpose and they know they're doing it for the reason I'm going to explain they are ideologically driven and if they want they will just kick you off just because because as you'll soon find out they like to make shit up uh stretch things um, just out of proportion. They really went overboard here. So, there's, they're saying that what happened, uh, I believe it was on the 6th, at the Capitol building here in uh, North America. They're saying that the things that happened at the Capitol building are... It has everything to do with Trump. You could make that argument, certainly. I will not merit it, though. I will say you can make the argument, but I will not merit the argument. And the reason why is because this was about more than Trump. Okay? Uh, I've made this clear in the past. Um, I don't support Trump. I just support the right thing happening. Right? That's all I, that's all I care about. Integrity, honesty, all that shit. Transparency. They're being transparent to some degree with this, which is great. I'm glad that they're explaining because they're going to have to. It's fucking the president of the country, right? <laughs> um, so, and I don't know if I was going off a, a thought over there a moment ago, um, but so they're right, right. Um, I was saying that uh, it's, it's about more than just Trump, the presidency. Um, the shape of the elections, election integrity. Don't get this fucking twisted. There was heavy, probably the heaviest case of cheating in an American election happened during this one. And they fucking got away with it. And at the same time, uh, a good portion, like roughly half the, half of the people that voted at least, are aware of it. And they got away with it. And the courts didn't do shit. They oftentimes these like I think it was Pennsylvania or another state or two, and maybe it wasn't Pennsylvania because I can't quite remember. I have to do 
do so much during the day. It's hard for me to remember some of these things, but in some states, I, I'm think I'm if I remember correctly, Pennsylvania was one of them, uh, one of the states that did this. I, if I think there is more than one, but I just don't quote me on that. Didn't even fucking look at the case being presented to do with all this, right? Didn't even fucking look at it, uh, and it's because we have activists we have activists in places that we fucking shouldn't and it's ridiculous aoc the four you know that whole thing activists and they're not the only ones of course right but that's that's beside the point don't really matter they exist where they do whatever i can't really do too much about it um okay so Yeah. Um so <laughs> And this is this is the interesting thing too. Because I do believe what they're saying here is and maybe I have this twisted up, but my interpretation just she said in the context of the events this week, we made it clear on Wednesday that additional violations of Twitter rules would potentially result in this very course of action. So they said Wednesday, Wednesday the 6th, Wednesday the 6th, which I do believe the 6th was the day that people went to the Capitol. I'm not going to use their fucking language because I'm, I'm beyond it. So, the 6th came, and... It's it's like they were playing a hostage game, is, is what the fuck is going on here. Playing hostage with people. Um, I don't think companies should be doing that. Because it, they're right here, like, it's it's a very weird, like, demonstration of what parenting looks like. Especially if you're bad at parenting. Um, don't know how to communicate with your kids. That's what this is. This is translation. Listen to me. Or I will fucking spank you into oblivion. Don't disobey me, motherfucker. I am your mommy. Now suck on my tits. Okay. So they're saying, Trump, if your friends are noisy outside, I'm going to break your fucking neck. And that's what happened. Um, Because mind you, like, Trump did do some, like, tweeting out stuff. And we're going to get into those in a moment. Okay. And they, yeah, a public interest framework exists to enable the public to hear from elected officials and world leaders directly. So they're giving us the permission to hear from people that uh, we, if we're trying to hear from the president, we don't need a fucking middleman like Twitter over here or Jack Dorsey mumbling and bumbling at us uh, while his crack pipe gets cold. Okay. It exists to enable the public to hear from elected officials and world leaders directly. It is built on the principle that people have a right to hold power to account in the open. Like, why do they write shit like this? You're trying to write shit where it's like you're trying to empower people who are fucking dead. Okay? You're trying to generate power and have it uh, pump it through dead flesh. That's what you're fucking... This doesn't mean shit, and you're trying to empower the dead masses, the dead masses, right? The parts of us that don't fucking exist anymore. And you're trying to write all this shit like you're some kind of fucking leader or something, and you're not. You're not a revolutionary. You're you're the shit stain on the bottom of the revolutionary's boot. It's you're you're an activist. Revolutionaries spit on your heads because you're short people for a reason. We made it clear going back years that these accounts are not above our rules entirely. It cannot use Twitter to incite violence, among other things. So there it is again. There it is again. Uh huh. Yeah, because they they're trying to trying to fucking or fucking they want to drive the point home <laughs> as best they can fucking manage. And you know, uh, I think I think it's working because um, my brain I'm smelling burning. Um, but they're basically like, yeah, so you might, you might be the 
the um <laughs> the ambassador of um Belize. But just because you, you hold more power than a civilian doesn't mean that you're, the civilian won't hold power over you. It's kind of poetic. I think it's cute. Um, which, and I think it's good because you need you need to level people out, right? You, you can't really have this dividing shit going on. But here they are saying, yeah, we're going to depower you. You're on our grounds. And then we'll hold all the power ourselves. And that's we've seen that playing out for a good while now. Good while now we've seen that playing out. I should really be careful with how I talk though. Not because of the words I'm saying. That's not the part I'm worried about. I'm worried because I'm a traveled person. Right? I've been I've been around a lot. A lot. I'm not I'm not a whore. I'm saying I've moved a lot, okay? I've been around a lot. So sometimes it's I start to sound European. I'm gonna try not to sound European. Uh I mean, I have no problem sounding European. I have no problem with that. But I don't want anyone watching thinking I'm Russian somehow. Because <laughs> it's the, the fucking... Yeah, funny that, right? So worried about collusion, yet you're not calling out your own party for being guilty as fuck. Oh my god. Oh, don't even get me started on Dominion. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. So... Below is a comprehensive analysis of our policy enforcement approach in this case. <laughs> Overview. January 8th, 2021, Trump tweeted. Donald J. Trump tweeted. The 75 million great American patriots who voted for me, America first, and make America great. He's saying, the people who voted for me voted for America first and voted to make America great again. By the way, that's how, how to read that. Um, we'll have a giant voice long into the future. 75 million great American patriots who voted for me and my company will have a giant voice long into the future. They will not be disrespected, disrespected or treated unfairly in any way, shape, or form. Sorry, I've glitched for a moment. My software is a bit bad. I apologize. So, okay. Uh, and they say shortly thereafter, the president tweeted to all th all of those who have asked, I will not be going to the inauguration on January 20th. OK. OK, so let's remind ourselves. Twice. There's the first one. And then here's the second one. That's your preface. Is that they want you to think before reading the rest of it. This is how fucking stupid they think you are, man. This is so fucking... See, I melted in real time so that you can be given some kind of demonstration of what they think of you. A melted person. Of course they support trans rights. I just transitioned into a pile of liquid on the floor. I melted from how stupid they... They think people are stupid. They think you are stupid. They think that I am stupid. I think that I am stupid. They think that you are stupid. So, twice they use the words incite violence. And they're saying Trump incited violence. I read this a moment ago. I'm going to read it again. Mind you, keep, mind you, mind you. Twice. Twice. Actually, wait. Did I miss one? No. Twice they use the words incite violence, saying Trump incited violence. Let's read the things that I read earlier. Tell me if uh, these few things I'm, high I'm highlighting here. Tell me if any of these incite violence. Okay? Maybe violence in the fighting spirit of the person that wants to live to the next day. Maybe that. Maybe you could argue that very loosely, but that's an anime thing. That's, that's fucking anime, okay? This is real life. Incite violence. Incite violence. Twice they said it before these two come up. The 75 million great American patriots who voted for me, America first, and make America great again. Will have a giant voice long into the future. 
they will not be disrespected or treated unfairly in any way, shape, or form. I'm going to reread that. The 75 million great American patriots who voted for me, America First, and MAGA will have a giant voice long into the future. They will not be disrespected or treated unfairly in any way, shape, or form. Shortly thereafter, the president tweeted, To all of those who have asked, I will not be going to the inauguration on January 20th. To all of those who have asked, I will not be going to the inauguration on January 20th. To all of those who have asked, I will not be going to the inauguration on January 20th. Now tell me, and I'm going to keep it highlighted so you can read it in case you have to try to find the thing that incites violence. I'm going to give a moment. Jack Dorsey has, Jack Dorsey has 10 letters. Jack Dorsey. So 10 letters, 10 seconds. Because if Jack is watching, we want to give him ample time to count. Uh, you know, down with us. or what? I have to have enough time to count down from 10. Because Jack Dorsey. 10 letters. J-A-C-K-D-O-R-S-E-Y. I'm, I might, for you, Kira, for you, Kira, I might pull up a picture of Jack Dorsey. Kira is a longtime friend of mine. I would pull up a picture of Jack Dorsey, but I'm not going to. He can do that himself. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Now, Jack, I'm sorry if you're still with us and haven't read through that. I apologize. I need to move on. I have adult things to talk to other adults about, and I have to move on. I know you probably can't read very well, that, but this word says inaugur inaugur inauguration. Okay, Jack? I-N-A-U-G-U-R-A-T-I-O-N. And to all those in the class who don't know what an inauguration is, um, that's the thing where the next guy gets to sit on the on the chair for four years. Now I'm going to read uh, more of this because obviously there's more. There's always more. Due to, the, due to the ongoing tensions in the United States and an uptick in the global conversation in regards to the two people, uh, to the people. Sorry. Due to the ongoing tensions in the United States and an uptick in the global conversation in regards to the people who violently stormed the Capitol. Oh, yeah, uh -huh. I've seen the fucking pictures. Don't fuck with me. Uptick global conversation. This people who violently stormed the Capitol on January 6, 2021. These two tweets must be read in the context of broader events in the country and the ways in which the president's statements can be mobilized by different audiences. By the way, I am going to have to break this down. This is just a lot. Okay. The ways in which these statements can be mobilized by different audiences, including to incite violence, as well as in the context of the pattern of behavior from this account in recent weeks. After assessing the language in these tweets against our glorification of violence policy, we have determined that these tweets are in violation of the glorification of violence policy and the user at real Donald Trump should be immediately permanently suspended from the service. We're going to go through this. Okay. I know it's a little boring, but I need to also make sure that Jack has his, his uh, machinations read to him because he needs to know of his sins. No, I'm not religious. But it feels damn good to uh, commit someone to uh, a place of holding, like Jack has done to Trump. We're going to go over this stuff, okay? Now. Okay, so. Due to the ongoing tensions in the United States. Tensions have been high since the 18th century. What's your fucking point? So they're talking about, of course, the ongoing tensions. Again, we haven't left tension land really even once. Um, 
ongoing tension to the United States. So I'm going to, I'm just going to assume that what they mean is the stuff that happened on the 6th. So, through the shit since the 6th, an uptick in the global conversation in regards to the people who violently stormed the Capitol on the 6th. These two tweets must be read in the context of broader events in the country and the ways in which the president can mobilize different audiences, including to incite violence, as well as in the context of the pattern of behavior from this account in recent weeks. I know, they, it's a big, long sentence. I, I do apologize. But, okay, so... They said, due to stuff that happened since the 6th and maybe even uh, since the election stuff kicked off, to be fair, we, we, got, we got to be realistic if we're going to exist at all. Excuse me. Oh, my God. So sorry. So, due to the stuff going on, we're going to say even like during the election, uh, but they want us to focus on the events that happened 6th, right? Sorry, I've been drinking a lot of coffee. Something about being a loser. I don't know what it is. Um, uptick global conversation regards to people who violently stood the... Okay, so... Because, so yeah, so not we're not going to factor in the, the election stuff except for the stuff that happened since the 6th. Because that's what they're focused on. So they That was what they fucked up. That, that's, that's one of the ways they fucked up is they should have... They should have maybe considered to really trap people into all this analytical shit. Trap people in by also in just as just because just to fuck with people, um, you you also include uh when the votes were first starting to see counting. Because then you can say see, that's just that's just what all this is all about. None of this would have happened. None of this would have happened. None of it. It happened. I probably put a hole in my cup because I'm stabbing it with this fucking chopstick. None of this would have happened at all. None of it. Not. I'm ser seriously zero percent of any of this shit happening right now would have happened if there was no fucking cheating. If there was, if mail-in ballots weren't considered. If you threw those in the fucking trash as an idea, because that's. A great part of the reason this has been contested, and that's what you may may or may not understand, and other people may or may not understand this as well. That's what really started all this is the mail-in ballots. I'm actually I'm not kidding, so, I because I don't vote. You see, um, I I wish I had a reason to vote, but I, I that reason hasn't shown up yet. Um, so uh, why do I say the mail-in ballots? Are uh what really kicked us off? What really, uh that really this the strike the, the the that was the match that really set this whole thing off, because the things they were arguing in court specific it was not so much to do. Mind you, I follow lawyers, so I'm not gonna bullshit you. I've got nothing to gain from bullshitting people around here. Okay. The issues that they really harped on were the unconstitutionality of the mail-in ballots and they are unconstitutional and don't get me fucking started this chopstick will go through your throat and i'll drink your blood from your throat that's been punctured because that's how i am sometimes okay they're unconstitutional mail-in ballots because you are circumventing a very important part of the process of the vote you want to make sure, at least in this country, and I'm pretty sure in a lot of other countries, if not every fucking country everywhere, that you only get votes, only get votes from people in the country. Now, no, obviously they didn't. we didn't send out mail-in ballots to Yugoslavia and Brazil. We didn't do that. I know, I get that. There may, there may be some weird story floating around out there that I just didn't pick up enough on. But... So that you are circumventing very important parts 
of this process. That was the, if not the biggest, one of the biggest points of contention. If not for the fucking mail-in ballots, none of this would be happening right now. And I do mean that. I do absolutely mean that because that's the case. Again, the focus with the big court cases had next to nothing to do, uh, primarily had next to nothing to do with the fact that there was fraud. Because there's, you, you can ask this of anyone, was there fraud? Of course. But I didn't say fraud where? No, you don't have to because there's fraud in every... Every system everywhere, there's some amount of fraud, and specifically to do with the elections, you're going to find fraud every single fucking time. You're going, unless you have it super airtight, ultra uh, futuristic, stringent conditions and all for getting to even vote in the first place. Um, yeah, so if not for mail-in ballots, none of this would have happened. None, N-O-N-E, of this would have happened if not for mail-in ballots. This all is really fucking pissing me off. All of it is pissing me off. Because there are things happening. As a matter of fact, um, we had this video of a family that was... They were made to get off of the fucking airplane that they were on with their family. They were, they were traveling. So this family was made to get off of the plane. Made to get off the plane. Because... The family supports Donald Trump. We have elected officials, namely Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, who want to keep lists of Trump voters. And the people who are already, you know, working on that list, um, they, uh, they and even others have... Uh, Weaponize the idea even more by saying, you know, like, this could really impact your future. Uh, if you hope to make money working a job somewhere, this could really fucking hurt you. Um, when people tell you an idea is bad, take your dumbass self aside for a second and ask, Am I really that stupid? No, I'm not saying this to you to be mean. Grow a fucking pair. Grow a backbone. No. I'm saying this to you because, well, um, things are uh, really strange right now. And I don't mean to come across as rude. It wasn't meant as rude. And if you took it as rude, I apologize that you're pathetic. Um, so, yeah, I know. I know what a take, what a hot take. Um, but I say this because... There are people who are watching this right now, if they are, or, and there are just people in general out there that will fight with you until time runs out, fight with you until the last pebble leaves the one side and joins the rest of the pebbles of sand on the other side. They will, until the end of fucking time, tell you their opinion is more important than the facts at hand here because people are so they're so obsessed with the idea that they can just sit in their house and not fucking go anywhere and people wonder why the obesity rate is is climbing there you go fast food deliver my fast food to my house and the the fucking coronavirus is making people even worse and so many different factors, but people are getting larger. That's just how it is. If you have a job as a delivery man taking food anywhere, you know what I'm talking about. So there are going to be people that pull their hair out and will scream at you just so you understand extra hardcore that they're a fucking idiot. And that... No matter what you do, you will not change their mind on mail-in ballots because they are that fucking stupid. And I take time out of my day to talk shit on stupid fucking people like this because it's therapeutic. It feels so good. Try it sometime. Um, 
It's, I know, it's great. It feels good, seriously. Um, even like I'll I'll talk shit on myself to myself. And it feels good. It feels good because I'm like, oh let it out. <laughs> so sorry, we just whole tangent. It's all of it was relative, I think. So due to the shit that happened around the sixth of, of this month in in this country. Um, I mind you, I make I make sure you know that we're talking about this country because they're trying to put an emphasis on the global conversation. When there there should be no fucking con- uh, focus on a global conversation, to do with elections that are happening in one fucking place, and not in every fucking place. I I know that based on the president, whoever the president is, that affects the world. It does. Um. But the president of America is not the president also of fucking Bolivia or of France or of um, random future island from the year 3629 squared or something. If I vote for the president of America when I live in America... I'm voting for a president for America. The global convers the global conversation should never be considered in this, especially when you consider the fact that we're talking about the president losing his fucking account. You're letting fucking factors that exist outside of the this country. Determine what happens to other people's accounts. Because you think we should consider everyone simultaneously. I just... It gets harder to insult people that are like this. It does, it does. Um, after a while, it's just, I'm just going to start calling them uh, Mr. Tutu Dress Pants. Or some stupid fucking name. Like, I just... I'll get to a point where I'm just... Just fucking drooling insults that are made of random letters. I'll sound like Play-Doh after long enough. Jesus. So, the two tweets here, uh, and they're telling you, um, so that you understand their determination, right? You have to read these in the context of broader events. And you have to also consider the global conversation. So, they've said several times the words incite violence. Um, they're going on about ongoing tensions, meanwhile refraining from reprimanding Democrats who are endangering people's lives. So, they're not actually doing this. They're not... Um, They're not actually doing this because of what happened on the 6th. They're not. Because if they were, there would be a lot of other accounts not on Twitter anymore. But for some reason, it's just Republicans, just Trump, just, and it's hardly ever, hardly ever Democrats, liberals, Hardly ever. I'm not going to say that they don't get kicked off the platform because that's a fucking... I would have to be a retard to think that. To think that stupid fucking thought that it's never the left. No, it's just not a whole lot. Ever. Where it should. I don't want people just to get kicked off of a platform for next to any fucking reason. I can pull a... Let me just write random shit on a piece of paper and make that... The deciding factor that I that piece of paper said that on it, and I wrote, and I that's the reason I'm using. No, no, it's just the December, uh, December, the January sixth shit at the Capitol. Um, sorry, that was the match. That was the match that that really. Oh, sorry, God, I'm really gassy. The mail-in ballots cat list match, right? June 6th, Jan- January 6th, 
the 6th this of this year 2021 not 2020 not june 2020 january 2021 they are trying to say shit happening on the 6th is what caused this right no no but it fucking helped right they're saying that this these two tweets are what caused this no i could say mail in ballots are what caused this suspension and i would be i would be getting warm i would certainly be getting warm because it's one of the biggest contributing factors no 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 and wherever they are there's there is there's two links yeah these here that those aren't even it those aren't even it that's not what caused this what caused this is opinion in a, a number of different ways i'm all sorts of natural right now i don't know sorry excuse me many different factors but what ultimately decided this all caused this suspension that's permanent for some reason was opinion. And I say that it was opinion because they have a very poor opinion of this stuff here. These two tweets that they are trying to say incites violence. Their opinions of the president and uh, the opinions of their peers uh, to do with the president. It's all opinion. I don't know how I made that noise. It is entirely 100% 99%. 99% opinion. I say I leave 1% out of the mix so that if we need it to cover other shit, then we have it. The 1% one, 1%, that's a lot. I'm told by people like Bernie Sanders, 1% is a lot, so. Um, blah, blah, blah. Um, so, so this is like, a, a, I said something about this uh, a little bit ago. So these two tweets must be read in the context of broader events in the country and the ways in which the president's statements can be mobilized by different audiences. So, I'm going to focus on this part now. They said that these two tweets must be read in the context of brother events. And they so they say this for two reasons. They, one, one, they want you to read these. Uh, these are the two tweets. And uh, so these two tweets, I say, you know, context, because they want you to know what specifically is going on. All right. The second reason. That they want you so again the context right they want you in broader events right they want you to understand like what these are applying to why uh there could be some sort of formulation of of restriction right um second reason is they want you to treat these two tweets with hostility hostility they do because if they didn't want you to treat those two tweets with hostility. Uh, why would the team Twitter ever assume that these two tweets could incite violence? Hmm. Oh, I know it's tricky, right? I know, I know. It's okay. I know. I'm still navigating this. It's very treacherous out here. Um. So these uh, events. Okay. So, again, we're, we're breaking it down, breaking it down, breaking it down, right? So, it's saying, uh, you know, for the purpose of staying on, on, on topic and all that good stuff, um, the two tweets must be read in the context, but we get it, okay? Um, context of broader events. Meaning, like, if 
I'm trying. I don't want to say something because I want to. I want to present you with an extreme, but I don't want to be racist right now. I'll just present you with what I was going to say when I was like, I don't want to be racist right now. I don't want to be perceived that way. Um, if a black person steals from a car and I, as an off-duty officer, not equipped to really deal with that situation, uh, I see that and the situation kind of sticks, stays with me. Um, do I apply a weird situation like that to my dealings with black people down the road do i do that no so why are they doing this i mean clearly jack dorsey because he made this website all by himself can't be dumber than a cop can he uh ways which so they're trying to say, uh, you know, that the president could be a, an influencer, right? The president's statements could influence them. So it's like that kind of thing where it's like, you know, I bought this gun from you. Um, and I shot people with it. And so um, now the victims, they shouldn't have a problem with me. They should have a problem with the dealership or whatever, right? And... By the way, I am referring to something that uh, could come up again in the future with the Biden presidency, and not in a good way. Uh, it has been mobilized by different audiences, including to incite violences. Uh, the president's statements, any of the president's statements, can be mobilized by different audiences, including to incite violence as well as in the context of a pattern of behavior from this account in recent weeks. So, let me get this straight. I can take a YoPlay commercial and tell people that YoPlay, the way that they handle business in the yogurt world, is that if they can expand, they will. Um, and so that's why uh, this year they're coming out with new flavors. And so... Because I love YoPlay so much, um, I'm gonna hear them say that thing. Oh, they want they think expansion is a good thing. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is um, I'm going to go out to a place I've never been to and just fucking take what I want because the people I like told me that expansion is good. So if I just like uh, you know manipulate this the thing that they're saying. So that um, expansion also includes uh, increasing my total number of yogurts by one. By stealing yogurt from Patty, my office associate. What if I, um, you know. What if I take uh, shit that Jack Dorsey says. And uh, I take to that, you know, different from how Jack Dorsey was meaning me to. Does that mean that I can have Jack Dorsey taken down? Because that's what's being suggested to me. I mean, anyone with a voice can influence anyone. I could influence you. Very easily. So, uh, I'll give you an example. Staring contest. You won. Now, very easily, I've... Without even, I just said staring contest, and you thought about the staring contest. You may have even just participated. You may have lost. I may have lost. I don't know. But you engaged with me, right? So something I said uh, stimulated a part of you to uh, pay the sound you heard with your ears attention. So if I can... Um, if I am in a weird audience uh, of some kind, if I am in a strange kind of audience, that means I could basically, according to this, just go and say, well, that's what I think they meant. And so one of the things that they're doing, which is kind of interesting, is that, so they're doing two things here. 
and I just realized this. So the one thing I just realized is they want you to get used to just the idea of interpretation being enough. That's important in a moment. I'm going to mention why. The other thing being that, again, they're trying to make this. They want pe Oh my god, this makes me sick to my stomach. They want people to accept the idea that you can be held accountable even if the words that were with that person before they committed an act weren't the words that you spoke to them. So, why these are these are problems. This is called conditioning. They want you to um take into account the idea that it's acceptable to hold people to account for things they didn't do. That's the first thing. The second thing being the first thing I mentioned a moment ago um, about uh, this, this all right here, right here. I, uh, you know, I don't understand all of these words. So well, so I'm going to interpret them. And that's just fine. I'm not going to understand what I'm reading, but I understand my interpretation. Well, it's almost like people in government and people even outside of government already do that with the Constitution. This is just stresses me out and I don't even mind if this video is a two hour long video I don't mind because there's just it's not a tremendous amount to, to go through but it's just it's a lot to really think on after assessing the language in these tweets assessing the language in these tweets against our so I'm going to open this this is my first time opening this Okay. Because we're we're up to this part, the glorification of violence. Is it the fucking same thing? Yeah, it's the same. Whatever. Okay, March twenty nineteen. I don't see any kind of update to it. Not that I could tell. Is this, there's, is there a thing that says it was the last time it was updated? No, it doesn't say exactly if it was updated uh, recently or anything. Um, glorification of violence policy. You may not threaten violence against an individual group of people. Uh, prohibit the glorification of violence. Glorifying violent acts can inspire others to take part in similar acts of violence. Additionally, glorifying violent events where people were targeted on the basis of their protected characteristics could incite or lead to further violence motivated by hatred and intolerance. For these reasons, we have a policy against content that glorifies acts of violence in a way that may inspire others to replicate those violent acts and cause real offline harm or events where members of a protected group were the primary targets or victims. So even like right here... Um, AOC, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, and people who have responded to her uh, about keeping a list uh, of your political opponents, uh, she's a, she should not have an account anymore. And as, um, well, what's his name? Um, Eric July. Eric July, uh, he uh he pointed out something really interesting um and i think this is why we're not really seeing any change uh people getting kicked off like they should the people who hold control have never promised to be impartial or partial they've never promised to make sure that they follow their rules accordingly and you can break promises all you want whatever um but they they don't have and that, that, I guess that's I don't know I, I'm apprehensive to call it a problem um, but uh, there's no there's no promise of uh, you know fair treatment and Eric July laid it out perfect he 
he said something to the tune to the degree of they've always been able to moderate you know themselves the content and shit they've always they've always been able to you know make sure that you know high rollers people with large follower accounts stuff would you know be subject no issue to um you know all this and they they haven't I'm just skimming over this this next bit here. Let's see. What is in violation of this policy? Under this policy, you can't glorify, celebrate, praise, or condone violent crimes, violent events, where people were targeted because of their membership. Shut the fuck up. Uh, we define glorification to include praising, celebrating, or condoning statements, such as, I'm glad this happened. This person is my hero. I wish more people did things like this. I hope this inspires others to act. Oh boy, I think I, I think I found it. I think I finally found the thing I, uh, that helps me really make sense of all this. So this is what I am uh, curious about. So because you know they could twist this, right? Twist it up. Okay, so this I'm not seeing this really anywhere in here. But even then there's there's no mention of um things from the past, things that have already happened. So this can't really fit in anywhere, this idea, this this guess of mine. So let's see violations of this policy include glorifying praise to violent attacks care but none of this is, none of this is in here. None of this is in here. What well, is not a violation? I'm having a really hard time, you know, because I'm just, I'm just reading this as is. And I, mind you, I am keeping context in mind and I'll think about that a little more here in a bit. Cause we're almost through this thing that they have written here. So who can report violation? Who cares? How can I don't give a shit? Shut the fuck up. What happens if you, I don't care. I did, shut the fuck up. Additional resource. Well, we don't have to worry about the additional resources because they said, this is where to go. To bother with this and that's where we went and we didn't find anything there's nothing there there's nothing there there's nothing there there's nothing there okay i want to while we're at this point i want to try to discern um link together as best i can manage and i may edit this one i don't know i don't think i will because we need to see we're, we're going to spend some time together and see how long it takes for us to come up with anything that could even remotely resemble anything Twitter's trying to do here. So the, f the first line, right? 75 million great Americans, great American patriots who voted for me, America first, make America great. So he's referring to the number, approximate number of people who recorded this having voted for Trump. So he's mentioning the number, rounded, whatever. He's saying that those millions of people are great. Um, and it would be really, it'd be really interesting to see them try to argue that you didn't include the other two hundred and seventy-five million Americans when you said seventy-five million great American patriots. That'd be really funny if someone tried to argue that, though that's just, don't do that. I'm already thinking of ways to destroy that one. Uh, <laughs> okay. So this is kind of, I didn't think about this until just now. I think of new things all the time. Great. We'll have a giant voice long into the future. 
So that does that does actually hint at a uh, a second term possibly coming down uh, in the future, which would be interesting to see him try to run again. Um, so he's saying that seventy five million people are great. Uh, that they will have a giant voice long into the future. Nothing really that, that negative there, right? Nothing too prickly. I haven't found anything. I'm trying to handle this like I got Teletubby gloves on. You know what I mean? Got nice, nice and squishy. Hand light, nice and delicate. You know? mm -hmm. Okay, so. He's saying the people who voted for him, the people who voted for him will not be disrespected or treated unfairly in any way, shape, or form, which is an impossibility. You can't prop, you can't say that. That's probably the silliest thing I'm seeing here. No, that is the silliest thing I'm seeing uh, of the things he's written. Um, okay, so we completely eliminate the bigger of the two. I think this is what they're getting at. He says, to all those who have asked, I will not be going to the inauguration on January 20th. There was already shit planned on the 6th. So two weeks... Two weeks before the 20th. Two weeks before the 20th. The thing happened at the Capitol. And not... You're... Are you... I'm trying to cut them some slack here. I really am. It's been really... It's been a really hard... Recording session... Um, I've been drinking a lot of coffee. That's beside the point. I don't know. I'm just, I'm trying to continue to make noise because this situation is, this is a special one. This is, this, I cannot believe this. This actually happened. This actually fucking happened. I can't believe this shit. So I think this is what they're trying, I think this is what they're trying to get at. This, this second thing down here. Uh, yeah, they even write shortly thereafter the president tweeted. Okay. Let's try to be uh much more fair and realistic than we have been. We have been a, a great level of those. Let's let's go further beyond. I've been making anime references here and there, it's ridiculous. So this is what this is what it is. And it's going to come across disrespectful. But that's okay. They... <laughs> okay. Try to reason this one, okay? I'm going to try to put myself in their shoes. This is going to be fun. Ready? <laughs> hey, everyone who voted for me. I'm not going to be at the inauguration. This is the part where you get mad. Seriously, this is that's the part where you get mad. Hey, all of my great, lovely, awesome 75 million uh supporters. I'm not going to in, to the inauguration. That, and that's what that's when you get angry. That's the logic here, right? <laughs> that would be like if Jack Nicholson you know got he did his Joker thing, right? Played the Joker and then Heath Ledger comes along <laughs> and great actor. He did great work in the Dark Knight. So Heath Ledger comes along and he says, uh, so I'm going to be the next Joker, you know, whether you like it or not, no offense, guy, I'm going to be the next Joker. So Jack Nicholson goes on Twitter <laughs> and he says, to all of my 200 million, 20 million Twitter, I don't know, to all of my 100 million Twitter followers. My 100 million amazing, awesome, cool Twitter followers. 
I'm not going to see the new Batman movie. <sighs> Do you see what's happening here? I am falling apart as we speak. I just felt a pipe fall from the ceiling. The infrastructure is falling apart because I'm giving my boys a lot of work here. A lot of mental work to parse through and find pieces of the puzzle that fit together. They're, they're working very hard and it's causing my throat to go dry. It's also causing my nose to run. That's great. I was kind of hoping it was blood so that we could just further escalate up, up the line and run on the joke that the factory is falling apart. Okay. So they've said the word violence a bunch. Yeah, yep. That's so. I was waiting for us to get down to this, this next part. So this is, this is where they, uh, this is where they kill themselves. This is this is how they crucify themselves in front of everyone, real time. So they said, I got really notice. I'm sorry. So they said, after assessing the language in these tweets against our glorification of violence policy, we've read that already, haven't we? We have determined that these tweets are in violation of the glorification of violence policy and the user at real Donald Trump should be immediately, permanently suspended from the service. First of all, where are your fucking commas, guy? Okay. Ah. Uh, secondly. Again, we've been, we've been through the glorification of violence policy. We've been through that together. They are saying, after assessing the language in these tweets against our glorification of violence policy, we have determined that these tweets violate that policy, and now your account is gone. We've gone over the language, haven't we? Hey guys, this is Jack Nicholson. Hey all my 100 million awesome followers. I'm not going to see the next Batman movie. Next thing you know, um, uh, Kim Kardashian dies from being shot by a SWAT officer. <laughs> unlimited power, unlimited power, oh, unlimited power, oh, you are my playthings, ah. Uh, I want to bring up again, because of all the, the, if you want to say I'm playing defense, fine. All the defense I'm, I'm running here. I am not a supporter of his. Do you know what I support? Principles. Principles. You know, ethics. Transparency. Um, fairness. Mind you, I'm a proponent for fairness, a consumer advocate. But uh, I don't go out the street with a megaphone screaming about how white people are the reason that poor people exist or something, right? I feel a zit forming on my back. I don't know if that's from the stress, but... um, So, maybe I should have gone live, but this would have been fun to do live, wouldn't it? We assess the two tweets aims to prevent the glorification of violence that could inspire others to replicate violent acts 
and determined that they were highly likely to encourage and inspire people to replicate the criminal acts that took place at the U.S. Capitol on January 6th, 2021. We are only six days into 2021, and uh, the greatest event in all of the digital age, aside from the big breakthroughs, has taken place. I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. I drink. I do drink an awful lot of coffee. I have coffee in this cup, by the way. I'm going to drink some. Um. Do I need to go back up to the tweets and uh, read them, and then read the under the assessment thing? Um, violent acts. I know that a woman was shot by police. Um, and she died. I think there was, there may be a handful of other, uh, injuries, fatalities, whatever. There was property damage, but this is the thing. Um, the taxpayer basically owns every building in Washington, D.C., Basically. No, really. No, really. The taxpayer owns basically every single fucking government building in D.C., Washington, wherever I need to point and say there's a fucking government building. Taxpayers funded that shit. And they're acting like we can't fucking go there. Nothing. I have to reiterate. Nothing. About those tweets. Incites violence. In fucking anyone. Nothing in those tweets incites violence in anyone. Nothing in those tweets do that. Not a single fucking thing. Nothing. What can you argue about this? Because mind you, they wrote all this bullshit before to try to force a link between these two tweets. They're trying to force a link and tell you that this is incitement. It is fucking insanity to think that you can take these fucking, these mental midgets seriously. They said incite violence twice before even showing you the tweets. They put together all this bullshit talk that comes in before this as if padding exists anywhere here and again like there's they're saying you have to link these together they're saying that and they're saying that the whole entire fucking planet needs to be considered too the fucking the people on that island over there with the spears they're saying that donald trump's hair is funny because he believes in the American spirit or some stu- the rest of the world is not to be concerned with when you're talking about tensions running high in a particular country to do with a particular election what an election that could be considered the most important in the entire fucking planet and you mean to tell me these Weak little pieces of shit at Twitter took these two tweets, these two right here, and said this is incitement. Links them together. Runs this bullshit about incite violence twice. And just to, you know, clear things up, I'm, I got it in mind to look at this when I kept saying, when I kept seeing people say, 
the president has incited violence somewhere on Twitter specifically. I have not in the four years that he's been in office and at any point in time in his career as a whatever man seen him incite violence once. I haven't seen it once ever. Any incitement. At any fucking point. There may, have, there may have been commentary from him at some point somewhere. But it is not mentioned here. Because they would have mentioned it here. But the, the only thing that they can tie to uh, violence. Is that Trump tweeted. After the, and you know, I gotta, I just want to because I feel like, oh, that's right. No, huh, how about that? Hmm. Um, look at this. So we've, all, we've mentioned January 6th, 2021. The U.S. Capitol event happened on the 6th. These tweets happened on the 8th. They happened on the fucking 8th. So, now, when... You look at that, right? Because we've already covered just about everything else. Now we're going to cover the shit where it's like, oh, 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 oh. Let me uh, frame this uh, as best I can so that we have it realistic for us so we're not confused because they seem awfully fucking confused. So this is where we may find ground for incitement the violence is that that he tweeted after the event happened. So he says, 75 million great American patriots who voted for me." So, in part, the first part of the first tweet: "The 75 million great American patriots who voted for me." So he's. To the people at Twitter, he's also talking about the ones who were at the Capitol on the 6th, two days prior. To Twitter, the 75 million includes all of those people. Mind you, the majority of people that were at the Capitol weren't even violent. They were maybe noisy, but... So... They want to argue that that's what he's doing. Is he's including uh, people who uh, damaged some shit, maybe injured a few people. So, okay. Uh, so how can we make this, how do we tie that together? How do we make that our thing, that that is somehow what they're actually saying? Well, uh, when the, sh I believe it was Charlottesville, Charlottesville. When shit happened, uh, there was like a tiki torch, uh, a bunch of white guys carrying tiki torches. So there was them, and then there was, I think it was BLM was, BLM and Tifa, they were also there. Uh, Proud Boys, and then some some white guys with torches, other shit like that. So it, it was framed heavily by uh, people as being a white supremacist thing. And I mean, you can have your opinions on um, semantics all you want. Don't mean anything. I bring up the whole Charlottesville thing and because Trump said uh, there are very fine people on both sides. Um, so that is likely what they are uh, getting at. That's my first guess. Because I have thought this shit through to death. And so I can't think of anything in the context of how I've presented things so far that would... Go on about incitement to violence. Because my original view with going into this up to uh, like three minutes ago, when I said let's, let's switch up gears, right? Was that they're saying incitement, uh, that Trump is inciting violence. Um, because violence happened on the 6th. Not the 8th or the 9th or the 10th or the 11th that I'm aware of. 
So uh, Trump couldn't have uh, inspired the 6th in any capacity. He couldn't have tweeted on the 5th and inspired based on what they pulled here. The 5th, the 6th, the 7th, nothing from those days. Um, even like the 7th doesn't really work here, but the 6th, the 5th, they're not including anything from those days. They're not. They I'm, Everything's from January 8th in front of me here. Those the, the two things they're concerned with. I burped again, by the way. I hope you heard. Um... So, um, this, and this may even confuse other people too, but January 8th came after the 6th, obviously. That shit happened at the, at the, the Capitol on the 6th. So, he is saying here, my father, the people who voted for me are great. If we jump back to the whole glorification of violence thing, I think this is what they want to try to get at. I pulled I pulled out that one part from earlier. Um, the do I have it here? Yeah, that thing. Um, where is it? Uh. trying to find where, where I originally pulled that from I just uh, yeah this right here it's just it's a sea of it's a sea of font so uh, I'm gonna pull this up they have a million great American patriots who voted for me America first make America great again we'll have a giant voice long into the future they will not be disrespected or treated unfairly in any way, shape, or form. To all those who asked, I'm not going to see Batman. Um, I'm glad this happened. Not in the first, not in the second. This person is my hero. Nothing like that here. There's no use of the word hero. There's no admiration or anything pasted. I wish more people did things like this. Now. Nope. Nope. Um, so then we get to the last one. I hope this inspires others to act. Senators. Okay, so he... I, I went through all of them. I went through all of these. Yeah, no, there's none of that language is here. None of that language is here. So, that means, I guess, exam they didn't list enough examples? I don't know. I don't fucking know. Such as. Okay. In violation, you can't glorify, celebrate, praise, or condemn violent crimes, violent events, or people are targeted because... You define glorification to include praising, celebrating, or condemning statements... So, to include the state, just the language is vague, dude. Why is the language so fucking vague? Oh, no, that's right. No, I know. This an example of a bad question because I already knew the answer. Why why do they leave it vague? Well, um, is ambiguity the word I want to use here? They want the they want the pool wide and open for their big fat fucking ass to fit into it because they just need to be wet. They need to feel that wetness. Or baby, I'm I'm all wet. I'm all wet. Um, but let's just. Glorifying, praising, condoning, celebrating. Um, yeah, include but not limited to. So, I'm going to actually say this. I'm going to actually just fucking say this. Okay. 
we're actually going to, it's not accurate. Not accurate. We're going to, we're going to write this together. Although I don't care to ask you what you want me to write because you're not here. And, uh, I want to write what I want to write. <laughs> Sorry. I gotta have a prick right now. It's prick hour for me. Where's my coffee? I think I should, I think I should have gone live, but I don't really have, I don't really have much of an audience. It don't really matter. So I wanted to, I wanted to kind of just speed through this though. I'm not really caring to speed through this because there's a lot to go through. Um, language is too vague and I fucking, I got this big ass mic in my way. I'm sorry. Language is too vague. Um, leaves out too much that violates the rules and is impossible to trust and ambiguity quality of being open to more than one interpretation yeah ambiguity is ex the exact word we want to use here uh, possible to trust a body of text to to its ambiguity. Possible trust the body of text due to its ambiguity. You are endangering people with this idea of yours and proof of that is the use of vague language when deciding to suspend Donald J. Trump's Twitter account. <sighs> so I'm not revisiting the glorification of violence thing because we've We've ascertained its uselessness. When your body of text is that loose, ambiguous, when what you're writing needs to include specifics so that we don't lose our fucking page just out of nowhere, uh, they glor... And this ambiguity shit. Um, so to to kind of explain, and I kind of did earlier, I'm going to give this a second take, and I just fucking pulled a fucking... This sitting here is kind of difficult sometimes. I'm sorry. Oh, I just stretched my shit. Ow. Okay, I'm going to struggle through this. So part of the reason that the language is, ow, is so fucking vague is so they can determine... And this is just this is just how it is. Fucking plenty of places with uh, like the Twitter and Facebook, YouTube. They they've all got the same problem. Uh, the body of text is is too fucking vague, and they do it on purpose. Uh, and they do it on purpose so that at any point in time they can create a reason out of thin air. Uh, say well it it was in the uh TOS the whole time. You just didn't uh see the part in the TOS that we didn't write down intentionally so you were not informed and that's your fault because you should have read the thing that we didn't write so this is you you probably know about the movie minority report right i'm going to accept the thing to give you the thing to put the beep at the boo Okay, I'm just going to read this just so that you have their words, not mine. Eh, a pretty good movie. If you haven't seen it, you should go see it. Um, based on a story by famed science fiction writer Philip K. Dick, Minority Report is an action detective thriller set in Washington, D.C. in 2054, where police utilize a psychic technology to arrest and convict murderers before they, convict, uh, before they commit their crime. Jesus. 
Tom Cruise plays the head of this pre-crime unit and is himself accused of the future murder of a man he hasn't even met. Why do I read that? Well, uh, because we're gonna read this next. I... All I had to do is skim this section. I haven't really read enough of this, to be honest, but here we are. So, why did I read that? Well, we assessed the two tweets referenced uh, above under our uh, violence policy, which aims to prevent the glorification of violence that could inspire others to replicate violent acts and determined that they were highly likely to encourage and inspire people to replicate the criminal acts that took place at the U.S. Capitol on the 6th. So, there it is. We did the heavy lifting. We broke down all the language where it made sense to do so. Found that nothing actually breaks the rules. Nothing breaks the rules here. Nothing. And so we've gone about this from two two angles, two important and considerable angles, considerable angles. The first one being consider all that is written if you uh if you want to if you want to look at a, a period that concerns only the 6th maybe the 7th if you want to. Um, but also all the f days before the the 6th and even back to when mail-in ballots were considered. We've examined the past. Then we examined the present and future. And this is our nice, fine wrap-up for our discussing the future. When we, when we consider the past and the present and the future, we consider those three food groups, okay? Um, we have it covered. We've gone over the language, right? And nothing, if you consider shit happening uh, before the 6th and leading up to the 6th and up to the 8th and then beyond the 8th of January. We've gone the full spectrum of all the important points in time that are relevant to this. And found that there's nothing here that makes sense. Except now, here we are. We have it. We have our fucking... Right there. Right there. Minority Report. So, we, we have a series of bullets here. So, they said, uh, Minority Report, the movie, exists. And so there's a story before it. And we're going to use that as our basis for operation here. So the determination that Minority Report is how you should operate your government. A uh, number of factors here. Uh, there are a number of factors, uh, including. So this isn't even the full thing. Um, so bullet one of however fucking many. Because there's only five, but they said num uh, based on a number of factors, including. So there are at least six factors, and we're only being shown five. There are at least six factors, and we're only being shown five. Again, ambiguity. So the first point, President Trump's statement that he will not be attending uh, the premiere event of the new Batman movie. Right? He's being received by a number of his supporters as further confirmation the election was not legitimate and is seen as him disavowing his previous claim uh, that there would be no orderly transition on January 20th. Okay. So, bullet one says that his statement that he won't be attending the premiere of the Batman movie is being received by people as further confirmation that the election was not legitimate. 
and it's seen as him going back on saying that there would be orderly transition on January 20th. Okay. Breakdown. It's being received by a number of people, by a number of support, of his supporters, as further confirmation the election was not legitimate. So uh, now, now, if not before, if not already, now we have this element that mistrust in the election, <laughs> mistrust in the election exists, therefore you will be punished for it. You will be punished for the things that we are doing. And mind you, Twitter, the same place that kicked Trump off, they, there is a news publication, newspaper, the New Yorker, I think it's called, the big story, big story, um, Biden's son, is that what he fucking is? Uh, but Hunter Biden's laptop, there was that whole thing. New, the New Yorker, I believe it was, broke the story. And because it would have, and it did, but because it would have had the potential to uh, do damage to uh, Biden, rightfully so. Um, and because of that, because it has the potential um this has to um you know factor in now so and that's just the thing too this is the other asinine thing the democrats really fucked their head up really really bad because twitter is for some reason under the impression that people just give up when the establishment demands it right or when it makes sense in the eyes of the establishment for someone to drop out. So, because Trump didn't just drop out, <laughs> okay. And by by the way, I so to go into that because I don't know if people are really understanding me. Um, being received by a number of his supporters as further confirmation the election was not legitimate. So what they're saying is because, because of the fact that the election was not legitimate and because of the fact that we are used to seeing people just concede that Trump is somehow... Uh, breaking with tradition from tradition. I don't know how that fucking phrase goes. Because Trump is not just following suit like every other past fucking Thanksgiving, right? They're taking to this as if Trump has fucked up somehow. Maybe he's got some fuck ups here and there, right? Um, yeah, so, and I just want to break away for a moment just to show this. Uh, and this is why I don't have uh, F11 booted up. <coughs> Life is raw. I wanted people to see that I was actually uh, opening these things up and not just uh, making them up. Uh, so this is why I say that. Uh, because it's basically the same fucking tab. Basically. It's just that one's bringing up different replies because it's see the see the bar up here, uh, different different posts here, different the the numbers are different, so it's different string, different URL, which means that this is a totally different page from this one, even though they look identical. Um, statement by Trump on the certification. Even though I totally disagree with the outcome of the election and the facts bear me out, nevertheless, there will be an orderly transition on January 20th. I have always said we would continue our fight to ensure that only legal votes are counted. While this represents the end of the greatest first term in presidential history, it's only the beginning of our fight to make America great again. So I'm going to leave this up. Um, 
So they brought up that um, he made uh, previous claims that there would be a, a, a peaceful transition. Uh, so Twitter is taking this right here as uh, Trump's way of saying, psych, I was just kidding, bitch. I ain't gonna fucking... No. Uh, sure, okay, so maybe he's pulling on this kind of air, right? Maybe you're getting this idea, whether I'm talking to you right now, maybe you're getting this idea that your interpretation is good enough here. Uh, you just deleted the biggest account on your fucking platform over interpretations. So, um, so that basically Twitter is just saying, uh, because of what Trump said, some of his, some of his, uh, supporters um, they aren't behaving, so we have to punish Trump because of the supporters. So now they're looping the supporters in here, into this. And they're saying that supporters are fueling the problems that Trump is having right now with Twitter. That's what that's fucking saying. I'm going to move on to the next fucking, because this is just... What a blunder of a thing to spit on paper for everyone to see. Jesus fucking Christ, man. Okay. The second tweet... This is bullet number two. The second tweet may also serve as encouragement to those potentially considering violent acts that the inauguration would be a safe target as he will not be attending. So now... Oh my God. The second tweet may also serve as encouragement to those potentially considering violent acts. I need some coffee. I'm losing my fucking mind right now. Okay. So why am I losing my fucking mind? Well, so far, I have read, um... A lot of assumptions and I don't think I realized until now just like with a few other things I don't think I realized until now something uh, interesting what uh, specifically is the interesting thing well this entire this entire entire page this entire fucking page is an unofficial extension of the Minority Report wiki page. This entire fucking page is Minority Report's unofficial extension of their wiki.
Okay. Um, the other thing that's making me lose my mind is I don't know what the fuck is going on with these people, but it's like they've never heard of bulletproof glass, Kevlar vests, security detail, pat down security screening. It's like they've never, never, ever fucking heard of these things. And it's just... It is just fucking unreal. It is just fucking unreal. Oh my god. Bullet number three of potentially six. The use of the words American Patriots to describe some of his supporters is also being interpreted as support for those committing violent- I- they- I called it. And look, I even used the fucking word they use. Look, I'm a fucking psychic. You see this shit? Okay, uh, so I didn't mention this yet, but from what I understand, and it's, of course, it's not to embarrass anyone to mention this, but Trump had a, a, what I heard was Trump had a similar reaction to this Twitter thing that Hillary Clinton, uh, her reaction to losing against Donald Trump, they're both similar. They're both similar because Trump was, uh, I will, I'm not privy on the details, but he was very unhappy. Uh, his whoever wrote it, I don't know how honest they were being about like the overall mood, energy, tone, emotions, whatever. But it sounded like he was very much in the worst shape possible at the time, if for a moment, if for a moment. And Hillary Clinton's whole thing was she, uh, when she lost. In 2016, she actually went to a bar. I'm not, yeah, I'm not kidding. She went to a bar to drink. That's what she did. Aside from potentially hurting uh, an intern again and possibly dropping some N words around the kitchen, like she's been known to do, by the way. That's a real thing. You could, yeah, Hillary Clinton has a, a uh, history of being a racist in the White House. No, I'm not kidding. I'm not, I'm really not kidding. Because, and again, like I've mentioned in some of the other videos I've I've put on, that I don't have a, a challenger in in the tournament, right? I don't have a knight. I don't have a defender. I don't, you know, I don't have a guy. I don't have a a, a, a horse in the race. So it's not really. I may prefer a candidate over another, but I don't support them, and I'm not going to cast spite votes anymore. I haven't. Last time I did that was with Obama's reelection. I did that because of who his opponent was, not because of who he was. So, and I, I stopped, I've put a, a, an official end to the spite vote because I, I try to be a, a uh, principled person. It's just, you know, you gotta be the best you can be every day, you know, just something. Now, before I read this big honker of a bitch, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit my honker bitch vape thing. Cause, uh, oh my God, there's still more to read. Actually, how long are we? Oh, cool. We're almost two hours in. <sighs> Obviously, I'm not editing it th at this point. Fuck no. It's just nice and raw. Just like life is meant to be. Okay. Um, I'm skimming this, and I really wish I hadn't. But uh, I'm skimming it, and I'm not liking what I'm seeing, because it's a lot more... Uh, I'll be nice to say interesting text, a lot, a, a lot more interesting text. Okay. Uh, bullet four of potential six trillion. The mention of his supporters having a giant voice long into the future and that they will not be disrespected or treated unfairly in any way, shape or form is being interpreted as further indication that president Trump does not plan to facilitate I need to.
I need to read this over again. I can't actually believe what I'm fucking reading right now. This is a fucking circus. Bullet four of potential six Gorillion. The mention of his supporters having a giant voice long into the future and that they mean they will not be disrespected or treated unfairly in any way, shape, or form is being interpreted, again interpreted, as further indication that Trump does not plan to facilitate an orderly transition and instead that he plans to continue to support and power and shield those who believe he won the election. I really don't want to do this, but I'm going to have to because I've done it so far. We're going to break down the language. We're going to break down the language. The mention of his supporters having a giant voice long into the future and that they will not be disrespected is being interpreted as a further indication that Trump does not plan to facilitate an orderly transition and instead that he plans to continue none of that makes sense it's not even that it's just like you know it's people reaching it's not even just that people are reaching hard as shit it's a it they're Putting two things together and saying that it works, and it doesn't. Nothing about this works. So, okay, so... It's his support for his supporters is being interpreted that he doesn't want to, he won't want to leave peacefully. Let me just, let me try to break that down. Simplify that again for me because I need to hear that again out loud. I can't believe that I can even say s these kinds of sentences and, you know, still be here. Trump supporting his supporters is being interpreted as ref uh, refusing to leave peacefully. That doesn't work. So what, what do they think would happen if he just d didn't try to leave, didn't want to leave peacefully? That he would just activate um, cement form and increase his mass and density by an, un an incalculable amount that he can never be moved from his position? Because, I mean, the police have tasers, they have handcuffs. They have dogs. Trump is not like a god or anything, right? Like, he's just a man. We all bleed the same. Our nervous systems, practically all of us, have uh, functioning uh, nervous systems that would react similarly if we all endured the same stimuli. So if you tase Trump and then handcuff him, if you if you were to incapacitate him or have a bunch of people carry him out, he can't assume cement form and increase his mass and density by an incalculable amount. He can't fucking do that. So him going, my supporters and I exchange energy forever and ever and we are infinite in power this isn't science fiction this is the real world i have to, i have to i have to completely get that just out of my focus Brrr! awful 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 bullet oh my god it was that was really hard to work with because of how it made me feel i <laughs> Bullet five of potential six million. Plans for future armed protests have already 
begun proliferating on and off Twitter. Okay, I don't know anything about that. I don't know anything about this, but this is all kinds of the worst kind of stupid. This is all kinds of the worst kind of stupid. And it's in front of me right now. They created the situation that doesn't actually exist. And it's punishing Trump because of their imagination. They're punishing Trump based on really poor interpretations and because their imagination tells them that all all of the ways they've been stringing this together makes sense when it doesn't as such our determination is that the two tweets above are likely to inspire others to replicate like if i have to prove a point i'll just come down there myself and just get it over with uh, but I don't feel like it. Oh, oh God. The guy reviewing all of this material has been radicalized. And it's Trump's fault now that I was just radicalized by Twitter. Does anything make sense to them? Anything, really? Does anything make sense to them? Did, no, really, I just, I need to know, does anything make sense to them? Does anything make sense to them? Going back to this last, the, the last uh, visible bullet of the, of the five on screen here. So, a few things. We've already covered uh, the fact that Twitter is willing to play mental gymnastics with us as if we all have eight limbs and spider-like reflexes. They're interpreting innocent text, innocent bodies of text, and... motivational right that's what they're trying to say this is motivational the things that trump is saying to some degree they are right but that's where it stops really i mean everything i've just read i mean does it does any of that make sense to you any of it i i kind of would like it to but i just it's more it's a selfish thing because i want it to make sense to you so that it can make sense to me I just, I've endured this shit for two hours straight, reading this absolute garbage. Absolute fucking garbage. And they should be embarrassed. But, um, so we wanted to come up back to this. This is how I know Twitter is run by retards. This is how I know. Okay, so here's the deal. Um, I'm a Democrat, right? Or a Republican, whatever. But for the night, I'm claiming the opposite, and I'm joining a group. And some of my friends are in on it too. So what we're going to do is we're going to create accounts to be a part of a group and distort an image that exists of the group. Suddenly, you have created a narrative that there are more people there at the time than there actually are. And I, when I say that, what I mean is you can have 12 Republicans, but, you know, have only two of them. No, three. Let's go three. 
three of them be Democrats, right? Three of the 12 are, are Democrats. Uh, there isn't a proper count there, right? You can count 12 people still, but the people who are actually there, so uh, if you consider the majority is the group that's actually there for the actual reason, the people who are playing games and are claiming they're with one group when they're actually with a different group, uh, the people uh, claiming this fraud, they don't, uh, they don't really count because if you need 12 Republicans and nine show up and then three people who haven't announced their actual party alignment unbeknownst to you, you have nine Republicans there, not 12. Even if all 12 say they're Republican, nine of them are, only nine of them are. So this is where, you know, uh, say first you have a, a group, a, a sizable group, um, sort of uh, mingle with, you know, this other group over here. And the group that's not really supposed to be there is in the majority in, in this situation. And they, they decide uh, under the guise of a different banner. Um, we're going to say that we're going to do certain things and, and make it obvious what kind of identity we want to put out there for people to think that we claim as our own. Manipulation. So, uh, mind you, there's no real ID system on Twitter. It's, you, you, there is to some degree, sure, certainly if you like want your like blue check mark, I think that's how you get it. You get your blue check mark, you like send in information, they... They choose to verify you at their leisure or something. I have no idea. Um, but uh, so there's there's no way for them to verify for sure. And this, it, this is a good thing. But there's no way for them to verify for sure that the people who say they are who they are are actually who they say they are. Um, and they don't have like drones everywhere. At the same time, there are people like me. Like, if I wanted to go down to uh, the U.S. Capitol, if I wanted to go down there, which maybe I should, you know, maybe I should. I'm not going to. I've got other things to, to do, but maybe I should because I I do – I, I want to make sure we're this correctly. I understand that the election was cheated, uh, was stolen. I understand that. So maybe I should be down there because of that. Um, no, no, no. Um, Twitter can't verify for sure that the people that are going down there for the 17th have even heard Trump say any of the stuff, any of the stuff recently, or even within the year. As a matter of fact, you want to go so far as to say that. So let's just wrap let's just wrap this up. Let's just fucking wrap this up. Um I feel like there's other shit I should uh try to pull up. But no, this is no, this is fine. This is we got this is all we need to do, right? What the hell? What is starting? Oh, why did that start? What the fuck? I'm going to try to, god damn it, I'm going to try to close this out before, yes, 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 do that, please, 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 end it, end it, end my suffering, don't, don't load, I don't know what the fuck is going on, it, it did that by itself, I don't know, um, don't, I, I don't actually know what the fuck just happened, but, um, no, I just, I want to wrap this up, uh, this is actually unbelievable. I've never seen, I've never seen a group really force a decision this fucking drastic before. I have never seen a situation 
this drastic, where a, a group has brought down a decision that doesn't actually make any fucking sense, and is the biggest event probably of the, it, it might just be the biggest event of the year. It just, just to keep it real, this may be the biggest event because of what is happening as a result. And, you know, to sort of echo the sentiments of others, what does it say about the world you're entering into when people are supporting Twitter's move to kick the president off of the website? Outright censor people. Twitter needs to be broken into pieces that I can't even f completely count because of the the sheer number. Because the the leadership, the people at the top. I just I don't even know where the fucking begin with them. They're a, they're a brain defect. They're like a tumor on the fucking brain, dude. Something. They're like a... They're like an AIDS-laden thorn in, the, you know, the thigh of a fucking Olympic jogger. I don't know. Uh, in summary... In summary... Donald Trump... Who post who tweeted encouraging words that is supposed to raise the morale of his base so that things don't seem like the fucking worst. This innocent gesture. The, likely the last of it to his supporters it is unreal it is unfucking real how much they twisted this man's shit around Jack Nicholson said he's not going to go see the new Batman film because he feels like he should be the Joker still, and he didn't get to, he didn't get to, uh, you know, uh, secure the role. No, he didn't. He didn't get to. He didn't get to because the opportunity just wasn't there for him at the time. I don't know. I'm trying. I'm trying to make this really simple to understand, and I just I don't want to distort this, right? I don't, I, I refuse to distort this because it's already bad enough. It's already fucking bad enough. But Twitter, in their infinite wisdom, just saw Minority Report again for the, the 10 trillionth fucking time and acted on it. And they fucking acted on it. And they're using what other people are doing who don't even know Trump personally against him. They're using the actions and the words of other people to punish people that aren't those people over there. And this idea that they have just decided to remove the, the account, probably the one account that has the most followers. I don't know. They acted on what fiction has shown them. They acted on that to make a decision here. That they shouldn't have bothered with. They should not have fucking bothered with this. This is this is a tremendous mistake. I can't believe how bad. Oh my god. This mistake is so goddamn gargantuan. It's just, it's, it is mind boggling. I have to go. I need to, 
I don't know. This was very revealing, very eye-opening. And the fact that they're saying that people who may not have even seen the fucking the president's tweets are influencing their Twitter's decision. People who, who likely haven't even fucking seen the president's tweets probably doesn't even know the president has a fucking Twitter. They're apparently getting together. That's the claim here. I can't fucking confirm or deny shit in this case to do with that. But they're they're saying that people who exist elsewhere have helped you get banned. And he doesn't... Trump doesn't even know that the people out there who are actually making things worse for him, if that has ever happened... Uh, to do with this, which I can almost certainly guarantee you hasn't. Trump doesn't even know that those people exist either until he was shown pictures. And unlike Twitter, Trump doesn't have future sight or whatever that whatever technology they're using over there at Twitter. Trump doesn't have future, so so he doesn't fucking know. You can take anything I say out of context and have me fucked over. Because the average person in this country is so useless and fucking stupid. I have I just have to wonder sometimes about things, man. I have to go. I have to fucking go. This is unbelievable. Uh but before I go, I just I will say Thank you so much for being here. If you watch, I don't know who watches these, um, but thanks for being here. Um, this is a mistake. This is a Oh, oh my God. I can't actually fucking believe this. I can't, I can't. This is unbelievable. I, I need to go. Thanks for watching.